The weather on Mars is bitterly cold. The atmospheric pressure is only 1% of Earth's. There is no liquid water and no sign of life. But that's not what scientists used to think. Giovanni Schiaparelli was one of the early observers of Mars. And when he looked at the planet, he saw a bunch of lines or markings on the surface that he referred to as canali, which was ultimately changed into the term canals when it was anglicized. And if you're an imaginative person, if you're somebody who likes exciting things, it's very easy to connect the faint markings that you can see on the surface of Mars that the human eye can interpret as, as canals. In the 1890s, American astronomer Percival Lowell transformed Schiaparelli's concept of canali into a veritable industry. Percival Lowell was a wealthy American adventurer and scientist and latter-day Renaissance man who built an observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, which was dedicated to the observation of Mars. And so Percival Lowell wrote a number of books and articles which promoted this idea of Mars as a habitable environment. Lowell thought intelligent Martians were trying to irrigate their arid planet with water from the polar ice caps. He even published detailed maps. That was the prevailing picture at the end of the 19th century, that there were canals, there were cities, there was vegetation, that it was a fully populated world with beings perhaps just like us. That led to the idea that, well, are they hostile? Or do we have Martian invaders? H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds was kind of a natural outcome of this idea that Mars had a population um, based on what Percival Lowell saw. I think there's a bit of Cold War hysteria that was mixed into that. So the combination of that led you to get these sort of evil little green Martians that were always attacking the Earth uh, at the time. It wasn't until Mariner 4 reached Mars in 1965 that canals and civilizations were finally put to rest. There are definitely riverbeds on Mars, but nothing straight that could be attributed to an intelligent civilization. Despite his error, Percival Lowell's ideas still have a place in the modern search for extraterrestrial life. Many of the ideas that now inform astrobiology, the modern science of astrobiology, they can be traced to the sort of fanciful ideas of Percival Lowell. So even though Lowell wasn't correct basically in any of the details, the spirit of his inquiry has carried on and informs in some sense the modern day science of astrobiology.